Okay, moving on. The F-35 has a rather peculiar system of classifying all the versions. To be honest, I'm not really sure there are really versions, because the aircraft is designed to be continuously updated. In theory, it should receive a software update every six months, and minor updates in between. In practice, the process is working on and off, and the aircraft is not stranger to experiencing uh, software regressions. For those who don't know what it means, it means that during the update, they break something that was working. It is like when your favorite software that you are using every day receives an update and a feature that was working fine suddenly stops working. While I'm recording in August 2023, the current version is the Block 3F. Mind, this has nothing to do with the three variants A, B, and C. All three, despite the differences, have the same systems, so they can use the same hardware and the same software to a very, very large extent. The block designation refers mostly to software, while the hardware upgrades are called technology refreshes, which remind me of those pine-shaped deodorants that you used to hang in the car in the 90s, and I don't know why. The block production is then split in lots, so Lockheed Martin current production run is a batch of 389 aircraft for the US and the international customers, consisting in 145 Lot 15 aircraft with the TR3 and the modified Block 3F software as a baseline, 127 Lot 16 jets and an option for 126 Lot 16 aircraft for Finland, Belgium and Poland to be delivered with all the Block 4 capabilities. Not all the software blocks will run on all the technology refreshes. In fact, the Block 4 software will require the technology refresh 3, but the 3F version has issues running on it, as we have seen. I hope you don't have a headache by now.